Hey, thanks to Quip for sponsoring a portion of this video. You know, good health starts with good habits. Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. You know what I love about Quip? There's a built-in two-minute timer that pulses every 30 seconds to remind you when to switch sides and to help you clean your whole mouth evenly. Why? Because up to 90% of us don't brush for a full two minutes or don't clean evenly. You know what else I love? With Quip, you can earn points and rewards just for brushing your teeth two minutes per day, twice a day. Yep, you heard me right. With stylish and affordable electric brushes starting at just $25, you won't be paying through the teeth for better oral health. You see what I did there? If you go to getquip.com slash startalk right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash startalk. G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash startalk. Quip, the good habits company. Chet. Hey. How much you know about the moon? Oh, well, I didn't know there was going to be a quiz right off the bat. <laughs> no math, no math in this quiz. No math in this? Okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to he, mention a few things. Some of this might have slipped out in previous explainers. And so I just want to say the full moon, all right, doesn't have extra gravity compared to any other phase of the moon. Oh, wow. You are now... Going against what most people will say on, you know, the tide is higher because it's a full moon. <laughs> well, so, or so they'll say, you know. This is why it's an explainer video. <laughs> it's yeah. trying to keep, set the record straight. So we can go back to Newton on this. And you learn that the strength of gravity relates to only two things. Mm -hmm. How much mass there is. And that stays the same for the moon no matter what. No matter what. And how far away it is. Right. It only relates to those two variables. And the moon, while its orbit is slightly oval, um, that's not correlated with the phase. So um, the phase of the moon does not affect how much gravity the moon is exerting on Earth at all. Ah. So when people say the tides are high during right. a full moon, by the way, the tides are also high during a new moon. Okay, but no one mentioned They're equally as high uh -huh. as they are during a full moon. That's my first point. Second... The low tides during a full moon are the lowest tides of the month. Wow. Right? So what's happening is no one ever talks about this. The sun has tides on the earth also. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay? But they're like a third the strength of the moon's tides. So people don't think about it as often as they think about the moon's tides. Now watch. Watch. Every day there are high tides and low tides. Right. But at full moon, the high tide is higher and the low tide is lower than at any other time of month. Same with the new moon. So why? It's because when you have full moon, the sun is exactly aligned with the Earth-Moon system. Okay. And so the sun's tides add to the moon's tides. Right. Okay. Yes. So the sun is pulling along with. Along with. So along the moon's with. tides, which are constant... The whole month now get an added bonus because the sun's tides, which give a little bit of a rise, that rise is added to the moon's rise, and then you get extra high tides. Wow. It's not because of the moon. It's because the it's, sun it's, aligns with the moon. It should be called the sun tide. I mean, the, the sun, the, sun the, high tide. Th thank you. That's, really, because it's the sun's fault. Right. That's why that's happening. Now, when the sun's tides align at right angles to the moon's tides. That's when the moon is in first quarter or third quarter, half moon, all right? When it's at right angles, then the high tide conflicts of the sun, conflicts with the high tide of the moon. They compete with each other. And then you get what they call neap tides, which are not, the, the high tide is the lowest of the month. So that's what's just going on there. And people, I just want to put that out there in case people were wondering. Because people say, oh, the full moon, because of the tides, it must be affecting us in some extra way. Well, and you know, I, I, I don't know what storm we had. Um, this wasn't recent, but there was a full moon and we had uh, this terrible storm and everybody was like, well, you know, it's because the moon was full. And so that's why there was so much flooding. 
Well, well, so, no. So it's well, it's because the sun was aligned with the moon, so the high tide was even higher. That's, right. But, but that's too much to say, and people, it's not easy to remember, and so. But what I'm how, saying is, it wasn't the moon; it was the sun. The, the sun, correct, correct. <laughs> Don't blame the moon Don't for blame when the sun. The moon. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, okay. How about other things that happen to people under moonlight, like werewolves? Mm. Mm-hmm. We've all seen the movies. Somebody's out and they're werewolf sensitive, let's say. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and they're out and then the clouds part and then there's the full moon and they see it and then they become a werewolf. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. So what made them a werewolf? Was it the full moon? Just tell me in the movie, what made them a werewolf? Well, it was the exposure to the full moon. No, okay. Like, okay. So they wh- see it and they're like, ah. Yeah. Okay. So wait a minute. So that means they don't become a werewolf in the basement. I know. Well, yes, you're right. Why wouldn't you just stay home? <laughs> okay. Well, so A, if you have to see the full if moon. If you got to see it. If you got to see it. So that means and you're in the basement, you're not becoming a werewolf, even though it's full moon. It means if it's overcast at night, it right. could be a full moon and you're not going to become a werewolf. Okay. So that's interesting to me. So it means they're reacting to the light of the moon. Okay. Okay. Now, I did an experiment in eighth grade science for an eighth grade science fair. Okay. Came in second place. Um, I took spectra of the moon with a spectroscope that I built. Okay, from scratch. Holy crap. And that was second place? Yeah, that guy's second place. Okay. What the hell won? A a tiny nuclear reactor? What the kind of school did you go to? No. So, I don't think they, well, a a biology experiment won it. Someone did experiments on seeds. Uh, that's fine. I didn't have uh, this wasn't defining my life. But right. what I'm okay. saying is, you look at the spectrum of the moon, it is exactly equal to the spectrum of the sun. So all of the light, the quality of the light, the source of the light, the balance of the light that comes from the moon started from the sun right. and reflects off the moon back to you. So if a full moon turns you into a werewolf, so too should be the sun in broad daylight. So shoot to that turn you into a werewolf, but they don't. Right. Yeah. Now, now in the Bible, in Genesis, there's reference to the moon lighting the night. Right. Okay. As like a separate thing going on from the sun lighting the day. Mm -hmm. For that reason and for others, for the longest time, people believed that the moon was its own source of light. Right. If that were the case, you could say moonlight is special and that's what's affecting me, turning me into a werewolf. But it's not the source of its own light. It just reflects the sun. And so you got no argument. Wow. Look at that. And because they're looking at the moon and they're not feeling the tidal forces of the moon plus the sun, because if that were the case, they would turn into werewolves in their basement or on cloudy nights. But they don't. For that case, it's the light. And it's the same light as the sun. I just want to make that clear. Okay, and the sun is, of course, much brighter than the moon. So if anybody had any tinge of possibility of turning into a werewolf, a full broad daylight sun would do it like that. You'd be extra werewolfy. Extra werewolf, okay. So the moon, there's so much lore about the moon. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. It's been with us from the beginning. And I, I love it. It's cultural, but it's not factual. And the idea that people would act crazy under a full moon uh, the police department's report increased crime as they under a full moon. And that's when they noticed that there was a full moon. And by the way, there's about four or five days where the moon is close enough to being full that m- the average person would call it a full moon. Yes. Okay. So you got a five days. That's one out of six days in the month. You're going to be able to blame something on the full moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's something that goes wrong over that time. The funny thing is people have the expectation that you're supposed to act crazy and the full moon rises at sunset and sets at sunrise. Right. Other phases of the moon don't do that. That The full moon is the only moon that's up, phase that's up all night. So whatever time you staggered out of the bar, the full moon is up. Okay? Right. And that's really the deal, right? <laughs> that's really what's going on. And you're okay until you stagger out of the bar and then you say, oh, full moon. Then you start acting crazy. You fulfill the, the expectations that literature has provided for us. The self-fulfilling prophecy. It's self-fulfilling of, prophecy. Of the full moon 
and Jack Daniels. <laughs> Got a feeling that might have a little something to do with it. Too. A little something to do with it. <laughs> so anyhow, this is a little bit of moon lore. People love the moon during Halloween. Yeah. And nobody doesn't love the moon. So I'm just a uh, tip our hat to the moon for all roles it has played in our culture, in our storytelling. And when I do see werewolf movies, I'm all in. You know, I'm not one of the, oh, it would never happen. No, I'm right. all with it. Yeah. But I do like some consistency in the storyline. That's all. Yeah. Well, I just can't believe we got through this whole talk without me making one butt joke. So. Why? Oh, to moon. Oh, to, okay. Sorry. Sorry. My brain wasn't in that spot. I'm yeah. sorry. Right. Because when you said, what do you know about the moon? I was just going to say, well, you stick it out the window. When... <laughs> You're moony. <laughs> Wait, were you on the highway? <laughs> By the way, it's one of the best things ever do. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. If, you're, yeah. if you're eight yeah. years old, yes, Chuck. But well, you're a grown man with married with children, okay? Well, that's, a, that's even better to have them in the car while you do it. <laughs> Dad, again. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. There's way more I could talk about the moon, but we'll save that for another uh, put that in another explainer. Okay. But anyway, all right, Chuck, good to have you. Always all, a pleasure. All right. Uh, everybody, this has been Star Talk, one of our stuff we thought you should know explainer videos. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Keep working up. <laughs>